Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so today we're at a teddy bear museum. I've been wanting to come here for so long and it's just so cute. Unfortunately, it's kind of raining today so I can't show you guys like the outside. But there's like really big teddy bears and everything is just so amazing. So currently we're at the shop where there's so many different kind of teddy bears that you can buy. But there's also like a legit museum over there. And there's a workshop on the second floor. So today I'm here to look at all these cute teddy bears and make one for myself at the workshop. There's so much to do today. Okay, I just can't wait to start. Let's just jump right in. A day at a teddy bear museum. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, let's quickly look around the shop. And as you can see, it's just so adorable. So there's these kind of bears, these fluffy bears. Oh, so these are like the birthday bears. Ooh, they have hats for the bears. And look at this, guys. <laughs> it has like long legs. They're all different, but they're also unique and cute. <gasps> so kawaii. I love the colors. This is just so me. I would love to have this like in my background. I love the vibe. Ooh, these are like pencil cases. I could get a pencil case. Oh, okay. Adorable. And yes, they also have a lot of Totoros here. So this is a Totoro section. Hmm. Ooh, it's like a small pouch. And Gigi. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is a magnet. Oh, look at this. Oh, these magnets are going to be so cute to put around the fridge. I want to decorate my fridge with this. Ooh, so many Totoro stuff. Wow, this is like really nicely made. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. I need this. And over here... Obviously guys, I don't have a baby. But why do I feel like I need to have this? And more baby stuff. Ooh, I need to give myself a baby. <laughs> so here's some clothes. Ooh, made in Japan. Very high quality. They all feel really different as well. Like some are soft, some are stiff. You can literally find every single kind of teddy bear here. Over here. Beanie babies. I used to have a lot of baby babies. So cute. I love the color. So these are like the pricey ones. Oh my gosh. Wow, these cost $825. $300. $300. Oh, Look at that mouse in the back. And that one is $300. I love the sweaters. But I mean $400 for a teddy bear. <laughs> And on this side, we have some towels. Oh. How do I look? So cute. I'm gonna use it for like Halloween. I feel like I can make something with these. Maybe I can DIY oh, yeah. something with this. Origami. Ooh. Oh, I want these. Maybe two of these. Oh, gummy bears. <laughs> it's definitely a type of teddy bear. Something to put your milk in. A spoon. This is useful. Hmm, I love it. Oh, a masking tape thing. I could definitely use this, guys. I'm gonna get two of these. I'm gonna put them in my room. So there's so many cute teddy bears and I literally want every single one of them. But I'm gonna stop myself right here. Now it's time to go to the workshop and make a teddy bear myself. Okay guys, ready? Okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, they're so cute. So first I need to choose my teddy bear. And I can choose any teddy bear from here. So there's this, this teddy bear. And there's this pink teddy bear. And on the bottom, rosy teddy bear, like a creamy colored teddy bear. Look at this arm. 
end up like a polar bear. Hmm, which one should I choose? I mean, I really like this color, this pinky peach color. Oh, so cute. I feel like he's calling for me. Okay, let's go with him. So this is going to be my teddy bear. And next up, we need to choose like an apron or a shirt for him or her. What's your name? <laughs> so here's the aprons and the shirts. Which one do you guys think is going to fit him? Green, blue, apron. I'm not feeling the gray. Green. I'm feeling blue. Blue? Yes. I kind of love the apron as well. Maybe this blue apron? Blue apron it is. And next, I need to choose like a button to put on. And it's over here. So as you can see right here, you can put like a button on his butt. <laughs> it's like a cute charm. Which one to choose? I love fair, smile, happy birthday, this paw print, and a heart. It's either going to be the heart or the I love bear. I'm feeling I love bear. And lastly, we need to choose a ribbon. I'm guessing it's gonna go right here. Something that matches the apron. The blue, white, red. Oh, red is going to be adorable. Yes, it is going to be so adorable. Okay, I think I have my teddy bear. So let's move on. And next up, I mean, if you look at this sample, you can like write words right here, whatever you want. So you can put like alphabets, numbers. I could put like my name on. Oh, I don't have a name for him yet though. Guys, please write down comments for his name. I'm just gonna go with Mini Cute Club by Binori. And I think I have it. Okay, so first, I need to adjust the button. So it's gonna sit like here, kind of like this. And I need to push it down onto this thing until it kind of clicks. Okay, so that's the first step. Next, we need to fill him up. <laughs> oh, this is the fun part. Ooh, it's so fluffy. I need to work on his face first. Pump his face up. Well, this is actually quite hard. The hole is really, really small. So you can't really shove in a lot at once. And again. How's that looking? <laughs> I think we need more. I mean, this is the most important part. I want him to have cute, plumpy cheeks. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Give him a little bit of massage. More on this side. I mean, his face is the most important part. Nice and round. Okay, I think we have the head. And next, to the arms. Let's push it in. And this is when we use this tool. So you hold it like this and apparently push it in. I mean, you don't want to put in too much in the arm. You don't want it to be too muscular. Hi. Close that. Okay, and on to this side. Looking good. Next, his legs. Oh, what should I name him? Teddy, Sam. I'm so bad at coming up with names. <sighs> This is a little bit tiring. My arm's kind of hurting now. Need some little bit of rest, some stretch. Okay. You know, this reminds me of the teddy bear factory, but like at that shop, they have this huge machine where you can just like fill it up in a few seconds. I mean, I love that shop. It's so cute, but I don't know. I love putting it in with my hands. The machine is easy and fast, and I love it. And this is kind of tiring, but the love I have for the bear is just like so much more. 
and his left leg. Shit to the tips. By the way, I chose the teddy bear plan, but there's also a Totoro plan where you can make your own Totoro plushie, which I will love to do someday. I mean, if you guys really like this video, I may come back for a Totoro one. So please, please like this video if you guys did, because I would love to come back. We're almost done trying to balance it out. The right amount of stiffness. Let me check this one. He's a lot firmer than him. Maybe I need to put in a little bit more. I'm like having so much fun guys. Trying to make the perfect teddy bear. I love it. And lastly, his body. And first I need to put this palette inside. Right around his butt. Somewhere like right here. And adjust it onto his butt so he could like sit down. I mean, he's looking like 10 times cuter than I first saw him. Look at his round face. So she told me it's really important to stuff his shoulders as well as the neck. I never knew that. That's so interesting. I never thought there are so many techniques stuffing a doll. So I'm going to ask for another bag of cotton. Mm. <laughs> So fluffy. I don't think I need too much, so I think this is good. Okay. This machine is so adorable. Okay, let's go back. And stuff it in. Okay, I think we're good. And next up, I need to sew him. So this is the string attached to his ears. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. I don't really have a lot of experience with sewing, but I'm gonna try my best. Wait. <laughs> when did it get tangled? Okay, moving on. Almost there. A little bit more to go. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, now it's dress up time. I'm gonna put this apron on him, like so. And as you can see, it's this mini cute club by Minori. Tie in the back. How's that look? Aww. And a red ribbon. And there we have it. What do you guys think? I love it. Okay, next, we've got him a passport. And we can go outside to do extra stuff. Let's see what they have. Okay, so first off, there's a beauty salon. So we're gonna put him right here. So we're going to use a hair dryer to blow off any dust and all the cotton fluffs. Just gonna turn it on. Okay, nice. All clean and new. Next up, we can check his height and weight. And he is 232 grams. Somewhere right here. And he is 32.7 centimeters. And lastly, we can check his personality. And we're going to use this machine right here. <laughs> the scanning machine. So you're gonna put it right here, slide it in and press this button. Aww. So he loves eating sweets. He's very cuddly and a little bit hungry. Let's take him out. Hi. And they said their personality tends to reflect the owner's personality. I think that's a good thing. And that's it for this workshop. That was so much fun. 
And he's so cute. But there's more to this store, so let's look around. Ta-da! There's a lot of clothes. And I would love to get extra clothes for him to change. For example, I mean, this is cute. And I'm feeling blue for him. I don't know. I think it's so adorable with like a red ribbon and blue shirt. <laughs> Ooh, you caught us. <laughs> so Japanese. Ah, oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. And there's also like pants. Like this. Oh gosh, this is so hard. It's either this or this. Okay, let's go with this. I like the jeans. And over here, there is a studio. Ah, I see. Oh, oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so apparently, you can put your bear right here. Okay, time for some Instagram pictures. Happy birthday. Oh gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Okay, we got the picture. Guys, look at this. <laughs> this is called the pom-pom bear. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want all of these. Look, it's so cute. And they also have a bunny. Maybe I can get a friend for him. So, pom pom bears. Which one do you guys like the most? I'm gonna check their faces. And every time I say this, everyone says, like, oh my gosh, they're all the same. But look, they all look a little bit different, okay? Every plushie has their own face. And I think he's cute. Really, really cute. Oh. <laughs> if only I could get like all of them. Okay, I'm gonna get two. And you could get like a pom-pom dress for them. Hmm. Ooh. I love this. Okay, maybe this for the bunny and this for the bear. Perfect. And I think I'm done with this floor. Okay, let's finish them up. So here are the dresses and I'm just gonna slip it on. <laughs> so fat. Stuff it in. And make a ribbon in the front. And lastly, we got this tag. And you can get any date you want. But I got today's date, May 13th. Like this. So here's one. And the other one. Slip it on. They look like a small ball. <laughs> here's the ribbon. And we're just gonna tie it in the front. And again, I got May 13th. Okay, and lastly, check this out guys. You can check their height. So this is around like 14 centimeters. And the bunny, so 18.5 centimeters. And these are what I made today. I'm so happy he has friends now. Oh guys, look, there's the gotcha machine. So there's all these different kind of bears. And on the top, you can see, if you're lucky, you can also get an extra prize. Let's see if I'm lucky, guys. One, two, three, and twist. Come on, luck. <laughs> okay, no luck today, but I got this blue bear. He's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put him on my bag. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do one more time, guys. Let's see, one more time. And the reveal. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, I got a brown bear. No luck today. So there's another gotcha machine, and this is a fortune bear. And it tells me some fortune. So let's see what I'm gonna get. Five and twist. And the result is... Ooh! <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> I got a gold one. Ooh, I love this one. And if you pull it from the bottom, there's a piece of fortune. The reveal. Okay, 
I have great luck. Okay, it's not the best, but it's the second to best, which I think is pretty good. Oh, I don't have hope. <laughs> and my love life is not that great, but apparently my money and work is pretty great. Interesting. Okay, not bad, guys. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to our Iku Teddy Bear Museum. All the cubs are inside waiting for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's talking. It's moving. So now we're at the Teddy Bear Museum. This is amazing. Guys, look at this train. Wow, the details. My heart is filled with happiness. Look at how many teddy bears inside. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's starting to move. Can I have this at my house? Please. And there's more over here. Look at all these teddy bears working. Some of these look super old. Oh wow, these teddy bears are about like 100 years old. Oh, that one's from 1905. More than 100 years old. And this is my dream house. Literally the cutest museum in the world. And I'm back home. I have to say, I had a really, really fun time. Everything was so cute. My heart couldn't handle the cuteness. Let's see what I got together. First off, I got my teddy bear. Oh, I think he's gonna fit right in my room. And I got two more. This pom-pom bear and the pom-pom bunny. The concept is just too adorable. I love how they look like pom-poms and they're so small and cute. I literally cried when I first saw them because they were just so cute. So great to know that he has friends. And in the next bag, we have a shirt. This blue shirt and a pair of jeans. You know what? Let me quickly change him. Oh, there's a hole on the butt for the tail. And the reveal. Oh no, he won't sit down anymore because he has jeans on. But I mean, it's okay. I think he looks perfect. I also got two bears from the gotcha machine. I really want to DIY something using these. Hmm, what should I make? Moving on to the last bag, I first got a few Ghibli stuff. So this is a no face rice spatula. I also got two hair accessories, something like this. A pack of origami. I also got a masking tape holder. If you guys know me, I have a lot of masking tapes at home. So this is like perfect to store them in. And I got two. It says Teddy Bear Museum. And I just think it's a really cute decoration for the room as well. And lastly, I got this spray. It's a dry shampoo for your plushies. So you know how you can't really like wash your plushies that much? So you can use this spray to like quickly clean them up which I think is super useful. I have a lot of plushies at home. And I mean, this can is just so adorable. These are all the items that I got. And I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.